Hello and welcome to Computer Tech and More. Today I'm going to be talking about the Synology E10G18T1 10 gigabit Ethernet adapter. Now, uh, first and foremost, before I uh, get into this, uh, I don't actually have a 10 gigabit uh, network adapter to connect to my NAS. So the fastest I'm going to be able to get is 5 gigabit uh, internet or uh, LAN connection to it. But uh, this should be a uh, Still a massive upgrade, and uh, I'm really looking forward to using it. This is part of my series where I'm eventually going to be adding a second NAS to my home setup uh, instead of having two direct access storage units. And uh, I plan on using one of these and uh, using the other one in linked aggregation mode to get it essentially a two gig connection. But uh, here we are. Nice little card, little heatsink, and the RJ45, which is what I use at home and I have a very short run uh, that I'll need once there's an extra bracket. And I'll see you in a little bit with the installation. All right, to get into your Synology NAS, so this is specifically the DS1819 Plus. So I imagine all plus series are very similar. I'm sorry for any camera shake. So there are one, two, three, four, five, six screws. And I, I've already just taken them out. And once you do, the panels will kind of slide apart a little bit. I need to set down my camera. Let's rotate the nest and uh, top should slide back a little bit and it slides off and uh, while you have it disassembled you may want to uh, dust it a little bit I see a pretty significant amount of dust in mine so I'm gonna be dusting it off camera and uh, I'm just using my fix it tool kit to uh, hold the screws so to uh, access everything you want to make sure to unplug it completely so the, uh, anyways, the PCI Express slot is right there. Let's see. And there's one more screw right here. Whoops, I'm off camera. Oh, right here, right at the bottom of my frame. I need to move it up again, right there. And that will remove this slot cover. Let's uh, take it out. And, uh, that slides up, and there we go. First time doing this. So, there we go. Let's take out the PCI card. I've kept it in the bag for safekeeping. There we are, here it is again. It's my 10 gig port. So, Uh, to really get the 10 gig speeds, you're going to need a uh, better than Cat5 cable. So this one I'm going to be using is a, I believe it's Cat8. I bought it on sale a few years ago and I never got a chance to use it. So I'm really glad that I bought it in advance right now. All right. Uh, a little hard to see on camera because of angles, but just like you're installing a GPU into your desktop, you want to get everything lined up, get it lined up at the front, and then we'll give it a good your hard push down. I'm going to set my NAS down so I can make sure I secure it properly. You push, it's nice and secure in there. Then, oh, I still have my hard drives in there, so it weighs a ton. We slide this down, and that secures the PCI card in place. And this installation method is the same whether you are installing the M.2s or uh, PCI cards. And there we go. Now it's installed. And for sake of demonstrating, there's my RJ45, click. So I have 10 gig installed in my NAS now. All right, I'm gonna dust it and uh, close it up again. All right, here we are in the uh, Synology interface. I just want to show the network setup. This is going to be used in two videos. 
there is the 10 megabit connection. And over in uh, Windows, I can see the new five gig adapter. Realistically, I'm not expecting uh, to get, uh, well, uh, five gigabit per second uh, to my NAS. Instead, I expect more like three, 400. So uh, that's where we are. And the reason for that is when using it, my NAS has uh, spinny disk hard drives. So I'm realistically not gonna get super speed out of it. So that uh, five gig and 10 gig network cards, you're really only gonna see that maximum speed benefit if you have SSDs installed in here. But uh, whether or not, so a uh, 2.5 gig adapter might be uh, better suited for most people and they cost a bit less. But I plan on keeping that five gig card for future compatibility kind of reasons. Uh, so those are some caveats and I guess extra info with uh, the testing that's gonna be involved in uh, both the 10 gig in here and the uh, five gigabyte. And I'm gonna be using this in both those videos. All right, I got my uh, Synology NAS back took up, hooked up, I should say. I have my two CAT8 cables hooked up, one going to the NAS over back there somewhere. I've got Zool cables to the 10 gig card and one heading over to my 10 gig, or not 10 gig, five uh, gigabyte per second uh, Synology uh, USB device. In this test, I'm using uh, the Cal Digit uh, USB 4 um, hub, although it's only gonna be operating at 10 uh, Gen 2 speeds, 10 gig, uh, because it's hooked up to my laptop and it does not uh, possess a USB 4 or Thunderbolt. So that is gonna be a limitation with this test, but uh, I wanted to test out that uh, hub anyways, and this way I can knock out two birds with one stone. All right, and I've already got my uh, data test lined up. Can't make that bigger. I'll just have to bring in my camera. There we are, 330 megabytes per second. Sorry about the wiggle, I'll try to hold it still. So previously with uh, link aggregation on the NAS and uh, just uh, regular one gig connection, I was getting 100 megabits per second. So right then and there, we're getting three times the network speed or data transfer speed to the NAS from this computer, which means it'll be much more effective at, uh, at handling uh, Plex server and all that kind of fun stuff. So I'm very happy with my purchase and it's gonna work out real great. Uh, anyways, Thank you for watching and joining me on this journey with uh, uh, the Synology 10 gig card, the new router, and this Sabrinth um, 5 gig network adapter. Please subscribe for more content. Uh, any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below and have a great day.